This is Accurate TV News, where you get your news on time, on point, and... Two men switched gender to commit robbery. Two men who were accused of robbing a man after posing as female sex workers were denied bail after their case was heard in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday. The men are charged on an indictment for robbery with violence. It is alleged that the men created fake profile on a dating site purporting to be women who could provide sexual favors. They reportedly met with the complainant at his home and robbed him of his laptop, phone, cologne and other personal items earlier this year. However, as the men stood uncomfortably inside the prisoner's dock on Monday, they begged parish judge Janice Blockstock Murray for bail, claiming their innocence. We have been in custody for a month and a week for something we did not do, your honor, one said. However, prosecutors contended that the men have additional matters pending before the court. There is a strong possibility that they have other matters, the Crown Council said, noting that their prisoner's card indicated that they are to be before the court for other matters in July. But the other defendant disputed the prosecutor's claims, stressing that they did nothing wrong. Your Honor, is the first time we coming to court, he responded. Despite the men plea for freedom, they were remanded in custody until July 21 when their matters are to be mentioned. Family squabble leaves woman with 57 stitches. A corporate area woman said that she is living in fear after she was allegedly attacked, beaten and stabbed by her sister, her nephew and her sister's baby father following a dispute at the family's home. The woman who received numerous stitches is seeking compensation for her injuries through the courts. Shanique Williams told the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court that her nephew beat her in the head and an her hand with an object while her sister attacked with a pair of scissors. I tussle with her, take the scissors and stab her. When I stab her, your honor, I get locked up the Monday and I call my co-workers to bail me. By the Wednesday, I press back charges. My sister baby father come, chop me, leave me with 57 stitches just because me lock her up. Your Honor, them as my family, me talking from my heart, them bring me down to the ground, she told the court. The matter with Williams is a cross case with her sister, Kimon Brown. Williams is charged for wounding with intent, while Brown faces a charge of assault, occasioning actual bodily harm following an incident on May 7th. Roshane Valentine, Brown's son, is also charged with assault occasioning actual bodily harm and unlawful wounding. Williams stressed further that she does not want to have the matter mediated. Your Honor, I am begging them. Them need forget our baby father, cause that's the only way it a got done. And them have to give me the maintenance money for the two months that I wasn't working, Williams told the court. My life is threatened, Williams added. Presiding parish judge Venice Blackstock Murray indicated that mediation would not be a solution at the moment as Valentine and Brown are currently in custody. Prosecutors heard that Brown was on bail for a previous charge for assault, occasioning actual bodily harm, robbery with aggravation, and being in possession of an offensive weapon, while Valentine was on bail for a charge of assault, occasioning actual bodily harm. As a result of the altercation with Williams, their bails were revoked. The judge adjourned the matter until July 5th for investigators to complete the file. Brown and Valentine's were remanded. Conductor allegedly threatens to kill boss.
A conductor was left stunned on Monday when the bus driver he defended during a road rage incident opted not to post his bail because he allegedly threatened him. It was shared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court that on May 22, the conductor Noel Walker was aboard a bus operated by the driver when another motorist, Barris Lee, hit the bus causing damage. An argument developed between Lee and the driver. Lee reportedly reached for a knife and attempted to stab the bus driver who drove away. Lee reportedly gave chase and used the vehicle to corner the bus. Walker then exited the bus armed with a knife and confronted Lee. The prosecutor detailed that both Lee and Walker chased each other around the bus armed with knives. The chase ended when lawmen from the Halfway Tree Police Station intervened. Lee and Walker were charged with assault at common law, being armed with an offensive weapon and disorderly conduct. The bus driver told presiding judge Venice Blackstock Murray that Walker contacted him asking for his assistance to pay his fines but when Walker was told that there was no money available he allegedly threatened him. He told me that if he went to prison and spent a year he would kill me when he came out and if he can't kill me he would have his friends kill me the driver told the judge. Your honor I was trying to help this man because man rushed him to stab him up. The next day, him fired me and put me on two weeks suspension so I don't have no money to come to court. I called him on the phone and say, sir, what are you doing for me? You helping me out when I go to court? And he said, no, me not help you. Me not have no money. So me tell him, say, you see how me take up your problem? And you na help me, and I me one of his sit down in a your problem. Your Honor, I don't threaten him. Walker shared after pleading guilty to the charges. The judge we offered Walker bail in the sum of two hundred thousand in his own surety given the circumstances. He is to return to court on September eleven when the matter is set for mention. Don't forget to subscribe to Accurate TV News. If you don't not do it already, you can do it now.